Good afternoon everyone, this is Hannah from Osha Slings coming to bring you our brand new releases for this week. So do say hello when you've joined the video. I would love to hear where you're tuning in from today and if you are a regular Osha customer I would love to know which sling is your favourite. <laughs> so do say hello when you've joined us and then we'll get started. So my question today is which Osha is your favourite? Um, I don't know if that would be quite a difficult question for some of you. I would say that my favourite Osha so far is the one that I carried my newborn with which is Rose's Anya Beautiful Newborn Squishy Blend. <laughs> so um, yes, do say hello once you've joined the call. Hi there Claudia, welcome. And today I will be showing you our two new releases on our beautiful Pine Warp. So we have a Middle Earth Collection item and we also have a gorgeous mainline Osha item which is um, in one of our rarely woven patterns. And towards the end of the video I will also bring you the yarn colours that will be in our semi-custom which is our special Mako Egyptian cotton and it is on our berry warp. So I'll have all of the information that we have so far for the semi-custom at the end of the video. And um, yeah, I'll be able to show you some comparisons and we also have a little bit of a Valentine's update for you as well, given that this week is the week of Valentine's. <laughs> So sending my love to all of you. Lovely to have you here Claudia from cold Finland. Um, I hope you're going to love these new releases. So the first one we have is Legend of Frodo and this is on our beautiful pine warp as I mentioned earlier. So for those of you who haven't seen this yet in real life it goes from this gorgeous pine green at this end, um, the side of the warp, and then through beautiful kind of subtle sage colours up into a lovely silvery grey at the other edge of this wrap. So we have gone for the light rail at the top for Legend of Frodo and then down into the beautiful um, forest green at this end. I'm not sure if that's actually picking up the true depth of the colours in the screen here um, but just to let you know that is a lovely forest green and this is a kind of slightly kind of cool sagey tone up into a lovely cool silvery um, grey at the top. And the weft on this one is a subtle um, kind of coffee colour so it's slightly got a slight warmth to it um, and a sort of a slightly more subtle tone than a pure black um, which just kind of gives harmonizes really well with the warp colors which is just lovely. Now Legend of Frodo for those of you who are not aware is our, one of our lovely Middle Earth items and we've got that beautiful um, text running all the way across um, the Sanskrit text and the quote reads even the smallest person can change the course of history which we always love here being um, seeing all the little babies wrapped in such a lovely quote so that um, is the quote that runs across um, here and then in the middle it says that it spells out the legend of Frodo so this colourway we believe is just such a lovely colourway for oh, one of our Middle Earth um, inspired designs. It kind of has a beautiful ethereal quality which I think just depicts um, Frodo's uh, heroic journey just so perfectly. Um, so that is the look and the design and the colourway of this one and the thought behind the colour uh, choice for this design as well. And as I wrap with this sling, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the wrapping qualities and the blend itself as well. So I'm going to pop it on as a front wrap cross carry just now. Um, and then we'll see about a possible fancy finish as well. So I'm just going to get make room for my baby doll 
and I'll pick her up and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of the blend itself. Okay. So if you have any questions or comments or thoughts at all as I go through my video today, please do put them in the comments and I will come back to them in just a moment or two and um, make sure that I'm answering as much as possible. So the blend of this one, so its name is Legend of Frodo Stoic and its blend is 77% um, um, Better Cotton Initiative Organic Combed Cotton and 23% Recycled Eco Cotton. So our Recycled Eco Cotton is in the weft, so that's that lovely chocolatey coffee bean colour that you see in the weft. I'll just bring that a little bit closer for you to see. And the eco uh, cotton is made up of 40% BCI um, organic cotton and 60% recycled cotton. So the recycled cotton comes from pre-consumer and post-consumer cotton scraps, which are blended and spun together to create this recycled yarn. So it's a lovely sustainable blend, um, a blend which will stop certain um, cotton textiles going into landfill and for this reason we absolutely love using this particular blend of eco cotton. Um, so I'm just going to tighten up my sling here. So this one has a nice balance of grip to glide, maybe slightly more glidey than grippy. You can see in hand that it's fairly light so it's kind of medium weight sling so it's um, 268 GSM so it's on the lighter side which is going to mean that it's perfect for little newborns all the way up to toddlerhood so you're going to be able to wrap this one um, with um, any little ones and will be particularly good for beginners it's super easy to wrap with you can see how easy it glides on there and as I do my double knot you'll see as well that it doesn't have a huge knot um, which makes it nice and comfortable for carrying but it also makes it easy if you are going to do some fancy finishes or if you're a beginner. So it's a really lovely option um, certainly if you are a uh, um, beginner as well. Now you may find with, with most cotton wraps you may find you need to do a little bit of um, careful tightening just to make sure that there's no kind of sagging going on in your carry and that was our feedback from one of our testers just to um, mention to make sure to be tightening everything lovely and carefully to make up for that but what I would say is you can see a really quick front wrap cross carry it's holding really well it's beautifully supportive and it's really comfortable and a lovely lightweight sling um, so for our tester, I can see there's a question here from Atigan, you're asking is it toddler worthy? So yes, we've had a wonderful review from Francesca who has tried this one with her seven year old and her seven month old. And she has said that it was really supportive, really good for big kids as well. So the wrap is suitable even if it has, um, it's, and it's, uh, sorry, the, this wrap is suitable for newborn and amazing for small toddlers. Perfect in single layer carries, it's compact, it's thin, it's easy to handle and excellent for starting your journey. So yes, I would say for toddlers you, can, you should go for a, a, probably a double layer carry for longer stints. But um, Francesca said that the most surprising thing for her given the, um, the uh, GSM and um, the blend was how supportive it was. So she has said absolutely tight and well to avoid slack but it's great for fancy finishes and for trying different carries, good for beginners, so comfy for big kids and supportive as well. So I would say yes absolutely it's, it's a good option. So let me do a little fancy finish for you um, as I summarise this wrap and it would be good to see if anyone has any other questions or comments. <laughs> so I think what we could do is we could maybe bring that one round here and I think it could work quite well with a pond finish actually just given that you've got that lovely um, light colour at the top here and the darker green at the bottom so it's a lovely refreshing 
fade this one, a beautiful fresh grad, um, which does lend itself rather nicely to a twist, a candy cane finish or a pond finish, so you can get those lovely colours in. And of course with it being green, I always find green goes with everything. <laughs> so you could, um, you know, you could wear this with anything, any time of year. And Ren is saying it's perfect for spring. I absolutely agree. I think there's a sort of lovely freshness about this one. Um, some of our testers have described it, a couple of our, tes our testers who have described it as being quite a wintry grad. Um, and I get that as well. Um, you can kind of see the kind of pine forest in the distance. Um, maybe a kind of mist um, coming in over the forest there um, as well. So it's lovely. Let me just check if I have any comments here. Um, oh, Tegan's watching with on mute so you don't disturb the gremlin. Well, hopefully you can watch it back later. Um, and my, unfortunately, we have tried to transcribe these videos and um, there is an issue on Facebook Live where we just can't make it happen. So I'm sorry that you are perhaps not able to hear what I'm saying. Um, and also my microphone this week um, needs new batteries. So I apologise in advance for um, perhaps the sound not being as good as it sometimes is. Um, hi there, Ren from Washington. Oh, lovely to see you and your little one. Um, and as again, it's a gorgeous colourway. I love the sustainability. Absolutely. It just matches um, so well. Um, hi, Cleopatra from Romania. Lovely to have you with us. Beautiful. And... That is lovely. And again, you've shared us from Germany. And since it's a rose Monday, we go for Mardi Gras. Oh, lovely. Yes, do let me know what your favourite oceans are. That's what I was asking at the start before everybody joined. Lovely. Okay, so this um, is Legend of Proto Stoic. It is going to be released on Secret Stash Happy Hour this Wednesday at 7 o'clock. Um, that is GMT and OSHA HQ time and this one is an eco blend we've got our recycled cotton in the weft it is a great all-rounder perfect for newborns perfect for beginners double layer carry for toddlers and um, super easy care which is wonderful pop it in the washing machine <laughs> put it through its paces it'll be fine and it's light in hand and easy to work with so and of course, it is a uh, Legend of Frodo and our, from our Middle Earth collection, which is just perfect in this colourway. Um, so for those of you who are Middle Earth fans, um, I think it's a really lovely option. So I'll take this one off just now. Oh, and um, yes, I did mention Francesca, our tester, and her quote as well. And she did try this one with her seven-year-old and her seven-month-old. So there's some lovely, some cute pictures on our Clan Osha Facebook page of her trying out the sling. And you can ask Francesca any questions you have as well. So if there's something that comes to mind, then don't hesitate to get in touch with her. So I'll just pop my baby doll down and I'll get the blossom to show you next. So, or should I say blossom mint? So this is a pattern that we rarely weave. So it's quite a, um, I guess an exclusive. <laughs> um, now, wow, just look at that luster. So for those of you who have not seen this one yet in Clan Osha, this has got a sea island cotton weft. So you can see this kind of pearly kind of iridescence, um, which is just the most perfect blend for our blossom moon haze. So the sea island cotton creates this amazing luster. So it almost looks like the moon is illuminating the blossoms and illuminating the sky there across this grad. And this time we have chosen the darker green to be at the very top rail, and then it comes down into the lightness of the moon reflecting down into the blossom there, into the blossom tree. 
so it is a really stunning blend that just is highlighted so wonderfully across this grad. So to give you a little bit more information about Sea Island Cotton, I'll bring the sling a little bit closer so that you can see while I'm telling you this information. So Sea Island Cotton is the finest and rarest type of cotton in the world and it's handpicked in the British West Indies. So Sea Island Cotton's um, unique it's unique long fibres, so it's a beautiful long staple cotton um, which gives it that silken sheen. You can see that lovely pearly sheen and it has an unparalleled softness and an outstanding strength which our tester Cheryl um, goes into in some lovely detail so I will go over her review with you very shortly. And now this is certified by the West Indian Sea Island Cotton Association. So each product that you will receive from this um, stunning release will have a special hologram on the label which um, guarantees the luxurious qualities um, of this extremely rare material. So Sea Island Cotton, of course, being Sea Island Cotton, being so rare and luxurious and gorgeous, it is part of our luxe range so it is a luxe item for this one um so it will be an exclusive wrap we won't reweave this one again and you will be getting a, such a lovely lovely blend so what i'll do is i'll start to wrap it and then i'll give you a little bit more information about how it feels in hand when you're wrapping i'll show you the reverse as well before i pop it on so you get the lovely blossom tone coming through. So in terms of the weft, Sea Island Cotton weft, it is an ecru yarn so it hasn't been bleached or dyed, um, this one, and so it has a slight warmth to it which means that it sits out lovely against the, the kind of cool silvery warp at the back so in some light it kind of pops more and it adds to this kind of lovely subtle sheen and shimmer that you get from this yellow cotton. So it is a really lovely subtle difference at the bottom. You can see that there, the warmth of the yellow cotton against the cool silver grey and I'll just show you that on the reverse as well just so that you can see it closely. There as well. So let me tie this one on in a front wrap cross carry. I think that's going to be the best to show off the lovely blossom moon. I think I'll position it slightly to the side. I think that would be the nicest for pattern placement. Um, so yes, as I said, we've had this one tested by our lovely tester Cheryl and Cheryl's based in Malaysia so she is experiencing some warm weather at the moment. In fact, she even mentions a uh, um, heat wave just now and she said that it was a lovely surprise to her that it was so cool to wear. So this this blend is, um, is, is a really lovely breathable and airy um, sling so you can use this one all year round and it will be lovely for those of you in warmer climates or some if you're looking for something coming up to the summer but also if you just run hot and you prefer to have some cool and airy slings I know there's many of us in here that would prefer that so this is a really lovely option it's a little bit cool to the touch it's breathable and airy as well um, so let me bring this over so it has got a lovely um, kind of grip to glide quality it will fluff up in the wash as well so it will be a lovely option um, just a really good all-rounder this one so I'll pop my little baby in and then I'll give you a little bit more information um, about how it wraps So it is silky smooth and moulds easily. So um, Cheryl has said as well that it is a really quite uh, quite comparable to silk actually. Um, so it's just a, with a smoother texture. So it's got a silky smooth texture, but it is um, and it's kind of bandagey like um, 
silk would be. So if I pull the rail all the way across, you kind of feel it hugging your body and just kind of moulding around you and your baby, which is really lovely. And it's super soft without any digging. So it's a really lovely option for those of you who, oops, I've forgotten. <laughs> I've tight started tightening it before I pulled up the bag. <laughs> I'm just getting far too carried away telling you all about the blend and I've forgotten to continue my carry properly. That's not going to be very good, is it? There we go. Get her tied in and we'll start again. So you can see that, oh yes, lovely kind of banded equality. Now Cheryl has said that um, she has found there to be a little bit of diagonal stretch um, which is so lovely um, to make every carry really comfortable while locking baby in place. So she's found that her leg straightener was absolutely in, <laughs> in place once she had wrapped um, with it and it, it was quite forgiving as well of a quick wrap job um, which is good if you're in a hurry. And so she was saying, yes, it feels very much like a silk wrap, but it's got the easy, easy care qualities of a cotton sling, which is just brilliant. Um, so her three words that sum up this sling are elegant, serene and timeless. And I think I absolutely agree with that description. It's fresh, it's beautiful, it's got a lovely luster to it. It shimmers, but it's subtle and it's very elegant, feminine, romantic. Um, so if you're looking for something that is just a wee bit special, then Blossom Moon might just be the one for you. Um, so she found, um, Cheryl found that it was comfy in a single layer, that she didn't find it hard or diggy on the shoulders at all, um, which is great. And she said that it's a magical, easy care wrap that feels like a strong and supportive silk blend with some cush and higher breathability. So that is such a lovely review and you can see Cheryl's full review and Francesca's full review in our Clan Osha um, Facebook group and you can see can ask them any questions and see their full pictures and full review there as well. So to give you the full blend, it's 56% BCI organic combed cotton, so that's your warp, and then it's 44% Sea Island cotton in the weft. So it's a four ply yarn in the weft um, for the Sea Island cotton, so you do get that lovely kind of um, plump look to the weft yarn, and it is smooth and sil silky. Um, in comparison, say, to a slubby silk. Um, this one for a size 6 is, so it's part of our Lux collection and it's £270 including VAT and the GSM is 289 so it's a kind of medium to heavy, well, say kind of a medium weight sling and um, Cheryl certainly has said that it doesn't feel particularly heavy in hand. In fact, it feels lighter than um, 28 nine and she um, would generally that would be the sort of the upper end of what she would enjoy to wear so she's finding that actually that it, that it works really well for that and it didn't feel as heavy as she thought it would I'll show you the knots at the back there as well um, so let me just see if there's any comments here about this one Lots of love for Blossom Moon. Um, so Rosie is saying, I definitely wouldn't mind more of Blossom Moon. <laughs> yes. And Mariella says, just tuning in from Austria. Welcome, Mariella. And hi, Jess. And Mariella is saying, I love this pattern. The moon looks awesome. And... Jess says, I would definitely love to see some more Sea Island cotton with Argentum blend. Well, that's great. I will definitely feed that back to our designers. Samuel says, will there be any Blossom Moon accessories or only wraps? 
great question. So this one is only going to be available in wraps and ring slings and that's because it's a really short run. So we won't be opening a made to order with this one. We will have a made to order open for the Legend of Frodo. Um, you'll be able to order wraps, ring slings, carriers and accessories in this one. Um, but the Blossom Moon will be wraps and ring slings only. And it will be on, live on the website on Valentine's Day in the evening at about 7 um, 7.30 p.m. it will be listed for sale at, at 7.30 but we will have our secret stash happy hour at 7. So hopefully your date this week, hopefully your date this Valentine's Day can be with us. <laughs> we'll have a fun Valentine's evening. Um, oh, so Jim... Chica is saying, hello, this is gorgeous. Do you plan any more releases with Sealing Cotton? Another great question. So we have actually pretty much run out of our Sealing Cotton. So we've pretty much used what we ordered with the mill um, a few years ago. So we are considering looking to see whether we can order more in. Um, so if that's something that you would like or you, you're interested in, then definitely let us know and um, we will definitely um, ask the question, see if we can order more of this amazing yarn um, in perhaps for a warp at some point. But at the moment, this will be the last Sierra Cotton release that we'll have for a while. We've got a very small amount which we may be able to use for um, something at some point in the next few months but this is the only thing we have woven just now and it's unlikely to have a lot more coming in the near future. Um, Kira says I'm a middle earth girly but blossom moon is so pretty. Oh that's lovely. And Jitka says I love the wrong side. Jordan, oh, more sealing cotton. <laughs> Valentina, really gorgeous. Ren is saying, perfect for those of us wrapping um, a living furnace onto our bodies. Yes, uh, that's the thing. If you want something that's a little bit cooler, then this is a really good option. Um, and Ren says, the border is so pretty. Valentina, this kind of green looks so elegant. It absolutely does, doesn't it? Um, I love this colour of green. In fact, <laughs> I've painted my living room in a lovely shade of green. I love it that much. Um, and Jess is saying a Blossom Moon hybrid would be lovely. Oh, I wonder what that would look like. That would be interesting. Um, Morgan says I'm loving the lighter colours. It's something fresh, a little bit different, isn't it? Um, and Jenny's asking how many wraps are there? So in total, I think there's probably only going to be about 30 across wraps and ring slings. Maybe a little bit less. Um, so it's quite limited. Um, hi Jessica, don't worry about being late, you can watch the video later. <laughs> um, oh, Ren says, James already knows Osha has date night. Yay, her date dibs. <laughs> yes, come and join us for your Valentine's evening on um, Wednesday. And there's lots of love for more. So Chinadu says, yes, more. Sealing Cotton, Jenny, yes to more. Ellen Cotton and Tegan, yes, and so there are gentle plans. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could bring that back? <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Um, oh, and roses, and how about Suvin Gold Cotton? Yes, I think we had a Suvin, a similar Suvin Gold Cotton not that long ago. Um, I think we worked with the supplier and it was something slightly different, I can't remember off the top of my head now, um, but it had very similar luxurious, yeah the Supima cotton is maybe the one I'm thinking about, but yes yeah, so we will just definitely look into these other options because the, the cotton, the sort of luxurious cotton options are just so lovely. And whilst we're talking about luxurious cotton um, options, let me show you the Mako Egyptian cotton berry semi custom. So, oh, I thought I had the yarns here. Have I? I've thrown them onto the floor. One moment while I retrieve them. Okay, so we have got the unapologetically pink semi custom running at the moment. Um, so if you love pink, then I would highly recommend going to check out the group. There's a link in Clan Osha um, to the group. You'll see that on our features, featured posts. And this 
is the colours of the warp. Now, disclaimer, of course, as always, um, I am standing in front of a rather bright, lovely light ring, which is why I always look so radiant. <laughs> um, so the colours here will hopefully be a good representation of what they'll actually look like, but you will need to look at the mock-ups as well. Um, so this is the beautiful colours on our berry warp. So we have designed this warp in-house, so we wanted to go for a lovely purple to pink um, sort of spring-summer warp. And we have invited the unapologetically pink group to semi-custom with us. So this means that they get to weave on the end of our warp um, a selection of, I think, one, two, three, four items, but they've decided to go for one as a scarf. So we've got this beautiful deep purple here up into a lovely kind of deep fuchsia and into a bright pink at the top. So of course you could see it the other way around as well. Now this is Egyptian Mako cotton. So I'm going to show you a little bit, I'll show you a few um, items that we've woven on Mako cotton in the past and you can and give you a little bit more information about that. But I know that some of you in the group have asked to see our previous berry warp. Um, so this one is on our baked berries. So just to give you a little bit of an idea, potentially of what it could look like, at least with this dark web. So it will not show you the top rail, but you can see there, this is a five color warp, of course. And whereas the macro cotton is going to be just a three color warp. Um, but that will give you a sort of essence of what it might look like um, overall. So I suppose if I hold it about there, maybe gives you a little bit of an idea but of course you've got this sort of lighter purple in the middle so really the best representation probably is the art is the yarns themselves um there was also a request to see the raja um blueberry tart so that is this one on that same warp, I believe, I think, yes, baked berries. So you can see that there. So apologies, these have not been ironed ahead of the video today. But that's the baked berries warp with the blue, electric blue, and that um, is a hemp blend with a tur turquoise hemp. So you can see there if you were looking to choose colours. I'm not entirely sure what stage the colour weft colours are at yet, but I know that there's lots of polling going on in the group this week. So definitely check out the schedule if you want to be involved, if you love the purpley tones. Um, <clears throat> and this one also um, is a Mako cotton warp, but it's a hybrid with the two Mako cotton um yarn so you can see it probably as a good comparison maybe for colour and feel but actually it's not going to um it, it, it will be more like luxurious in terms of its um, luster than this one um so i'll be able to show you that that's a that was a i think it was that was a pocket weave that one sorry so it was a pocket weave so this is a standard weave so what I'll do is I'll just hold up this beautiful Mako cotton so you can see the shimmer of our silver, this warp that we had released earlier um, at the end of last year. You can see that shimmer there. So that is the sort of shimmer that you can expect to see in the um, in your semi-custom here. And I'll just give you a little bit more information about Mako cotton as well. Um, so I'll hold those up and try and give you a little bit more info 
So for those of you who are not aware, the term Mako cotton, so Mako Egyptian cotton, so Mako is actually a place in Egypt where the cotton is grown and it's a particularly long staple cotton so you do find that long staple cottons give you that beautiful luxurious feel so sea island cotton is a long staple Egyptian Mako cotton is also long staple and um, the manufacturers of this cotton were looking for a way to get more luster into the yarn um, so what they did was they found a way to straighten out the yarn which of course makes it smooth and shimmery and it gives us amazing shine and shimmer and in doing so um, it actually plumped out the yarns so what that meant was that it takes dye really really well so you'll find that the colours are even stronger when it comes to Mako cotton um, over standard cotton. Um, so you can see that is one of the reasons which will just be absolutely amazing for the deep pink and the purple. Um, so it's taken the dye really really well and now the other um, benefit to this beautiful shimmer and the process that it goes through is that it actually creates a really durable yarn which um, is uh, is really resistant to wear and tear and it doesn't pill as easily as um, yarns that are not as durable although I must say that um, OSHA cotton is absolutely um, you know it's very resistant to pilling as well but you will it will give you a really sturdy sling and a sturdy wrap um, which is really lovely so the Mako cotton, because it's such a fine yarn, it's woven on, um, it's woven with like a lighter, so it's much finer yarn. So it's over on, woven on a high ended um, loom. So it means you actually have more yarns across the whole wrap um, than you would um, standard cotton. So there's more yarns in there, which means that the um, and it's, so it's woven at a higher density as well so that means you get really amazing and crisp pattern um, pattern um, what's the word uh, definition so the pattern definition is really crisp and you also get this just lovely kind of it's a densely woven yarn but it's also really lightweight and kind of flexible and movable so you it just kind of all adds to that shimmer and luxurious quality so hopefully that gives you a little bit more insight into what makes Mako cotton special and why it is really a beautiful luxurious piece um, that you will want to cherish forever. So let me have a little look at the questions. Yes, yeah, so Jess is asking, is Mako nice for summer? It's thinner, right? Yes, yeah, so it always comes out a lot thinner. Um, so it will be wonderful for summer. Breathable, beautiful, lightweight. Um, we will have it, of course, with um, with with our regular weft. So it's not going to be a Mako cotton weft. So we, you know, we will be able to, I'm not entirely sure on the GSMs for these ones. Um, but for example, this one, um, which was on our um, camel warp last summer, I think it was, it was 266 GSM. So you're talking that kind of um, definitely lighter weight um, overall, but it does depend what weft we go for. Um, now questions. Um, Kyle saying that is great info, thank you. And um, yes, so Chitsova says, oh, can't wait to see a crisp jungle with a big shimmer. So I can tell you, yes, that the, and the Misty Mountain of Blossoms as well. So yes, the pattern poles have already completed. So we've got the jungle, Misty Mountains, Blossom and Len Lothlorien as a scarf. So we've got some gorgeous patterns coming in this one and you will be able to get involved with the weft polling and pairing um, over the next few days. If you join the group then you won't miss any of the announcements. Um, Kira says so excited for the pink warp. Um, okay let me just pop back up and make sure I've covered all of your questions and your comments. 
Um, let's see. Okay, so pin my cotton and everything. <clears throat> Oh, Rose is saying also the rose stroke merino blend. Yes, we'd be cool to explore that, wouldn't it? And uh, Jess says, I'm so excited for this pink semi. And <laughs> Jenny says, Rosie Merino, not just because it's your name. <laughs> um, Jessica says, Yay, pink. Vanessa's saying, I love pink. I'm so happy with this pre order. And uh, Tegan says, Yes, the Souven Gold. We'll have to have a look at that and see what we can do. Um, Sarah's saying, love that purple. <laughs> Rosie's laughing along about the name comment. I swear I never think of that, haha, but trust me, Zapima with Merino Rose's blend is amazing. <laughs> well, that's great. And lots of love for the warp of this one. I love the berry warp from Laura. And Ren's saying it's going to be stunning. And Katie is saying, oh, more silver warp, please. <laughs> That's all the silver done now. Um, I was just showing that for comparison. Um, lots of love for it. Um, great. Oh, yes, Jaquita. Uh, Jitka is asking, what is the price in comparison to regular cotton? So, um, absolutely, the... Macro cotton, macro Egyptian cotton being a luxurious yarn, it definitely is priced higher. I don't have the exact comparison here just now, um, but you will notice that um, I'm not entirely sure if they will be in our Lux collection or not. I think it just depends once we get the um, WEF blends all sorted out. Um, and I haven't personally seen the prices yet. Um, so yes, but they will be um, a higher price point than regular cotton, of course, because of the... Um, the production, you know, the, the credentials of the yarn itself, where it's produced, how it's produced, the luxurious qualities of it. So, yeah. Um, lots of excitement for the Misty Mountains and the Blossom. And Pam says, that's pink. Indeed it is. And Rosie is saying, I wish this could be a full pre-order so we wouldn't worry about last th oh, fastest fingers for such stunning collection. Yeah, that's a good point. Um... And Katie is saying, thrilled about pink. Please don't stop with just this one. Oh, there's so much love for pink. I had no idea. <laughs> That's great. That's just wonderful. Um, okay, so those that is the 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 um beautiful Mako Egyptian berry cotton. And just to finish off with the video, we do have a couple of giveaways happening this week for Valentine's. So you may want to check out our Instagram if you love the Margot from the beautiful Birth of Venus pre-order. Um, so this one is going to be going up for a giveaway on our Instagram this week. I think it starts today. And then we also have a clan exclusive giveaway on Valentine's Day itself so do come onto the clan on Wednesday share the love join in with us and you will we'll be able to enter for an exclusive clan giveaway on Wednesday the 14th of February as well um, so thank you all thank you all so much for joining me today uh, just as a reminder we've got beautiful Legend of Frodo opening star sorry released being released on Wednesday um, at about 4.30 um, GMT and we have the beautiful Blossom Moon Sylvia um, which is coming on Wednesday as well in limited numbers and then we ha will have some lovely Valentine's chatter too on Wednesday evening and then you can join the um, unapologetically pink pre-order and get involved in that one that will be opening shortly I actually um, don't know off the top of my head maybe it's opening next week <laughs> um, but certainly join in with that and you can um, have your say on wefts as well for the semi-custom thank you all so much for joining me today I will be back in a couple of weeks time for some more OSHA slings info for you thanks everyone have a lovely evening bye